Hello everyone, today we're going to be discussing privacy policies, in particular privacy policies for your website. Uh, those of you who are just starting out in the online world, whether you run a blog, uh, an e-commerce store, or even informational site, it's very, very important to have a privacy policy in place. It's one of the things that Google looks for, and it's one of the things that a lot of companies look for, a lot of people look for, and you want to make sure you have one filled out. Unfortunately, many of us starting out don't have a lot of money to go and hire a lawyer or even find one to create a privacy policy but not to worry because there are a lot of services out there that will create a standard privacy policy for free you can then just use those on your website or if you want to you can go and have a lawyer review and at the very least there is you are saving money because you're coming in with an actual document that needs to be tweaked versus having them build one from scratch so let's take a look here and see what we're talking about. So I'm going to be showing you the online privacy policy for Rocket Lawyer as well as a company called uh, Generate Privacy Policy. There's also freeprivacypolicy.com you can do, which is done by eTrustee. Any of those three will work, but I really like the interview process of Rocket Lawyer, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it here. So in this case here, online store help is my site store help the website is online store help dot uh, 201425 Honolulu Hawaii 96820 and we will do the phone number of an email address so let's say privacy at online store help dot com and seriously it is that easy you start going through and it's going to ask you a bunch of questions as you can see it generates a privacy policy and as you as you add things to it you can update the preview and it will fill in all these various things for you so in this case here uh, no, it doesn't apply to any subsidiaries. So if you have, you know, if you're a big company, you have lots and lots of subsidiaries, or you have multiple websites that work together, this would be important then. It allows you to list it. Um, in this case here, whoops, it's an information site. Um, it does, sure. We want to keep that in there. Uh, names, address, email, payment information. Actually, it doesn't collect any payment information. That all goes through PayPal if you buy something from the site. Nope, don't collect anything on gender or age. Um, actually, no, I don't. Popular products or services. I do use cookies. I just don't use it to determine popular products or services. Um, sometimes, yeah, I do. Uh, do you share users' contact information? No, I never do that. That's uh, that's a bad move. You never want to. And this is absolutely a no-no. Sell, rent, or lease user list to third parties. Um, in this case here, yes, people can post. They can comment on blog posts um, that I create, and I, I encourage people to comment. And yes, I use cookies. And in particular, I use cookies for a lot of things, just track where you're coming from, what keywords. It is not trustee verified. It's something nice to have, but I just don't need it right now. Um, it is not secured by VeriSign. I do not use SSL because I'm not doing any checkout. In this case here, if you buy something from me, you'll be taken over to PayPal's checkout site. Um, Continue. I do not do business internationally, so don't need to worry about that. I don't collect any information on children. Um, right now, I do not have it set up. Um, I am going to eventually. That they can, you can sign in through Facebook or Twitter. Uh, I believe so. Yep. And it's effective this date. So literally, 
in a matter of what five minutes now we have an entire privacy policy and for privacy policy it's not difficult you don't need a whole lot of information on there but you do want to make sure that you have it because Google will Google will penalize you especially for using AdSense on your site so I will have the link on the on my site for those of you who want to go check it out online storehelp.com let me know if you have any questions